Before refrigeration, ice cream was a handmade luxury. They placed the ingredients in a mixing bowl in a tub filled with ice and salt water. The salt helped the ice absorb heat, cooling the mixture below the freezing point. In the 1920s, commercial freezers made mass production possible, launching the ice cream industry. To make these ice cream treats, you must first make the ice cream. It all begins with fresh cream. The factory stores the cream in refrigerated silos set to a constant 4 degrees Celsius. The silos feed a high-speed mixer that blends it with the other ingredients. The main dry ingredients are powdered skim milk and plant-based stabilizers and emulsifiers. Stabilizers prevent the ice cream from crystallizing and emulsifiers allow the mix to bond with air during the whipping process. The other ingredients are sugar and corn syrup. After about three minutes of mixing, a pumping system moves the mixture into large pasteurization tanks. The tanks keep the mixture at 72 degrees Celsius for half an hour, killing any bacteria and activating the stabilizers. Then the factory homogenizes the mixture, a process that breaks up the fat globules, giving the ice cream a smooth texture. They cool the mixture and add concentrated vanilla flavoring. Then they chill and whip everything for about 15 seconds. Whipping blends the mix with air, transforming it from a liquid to a soft solid. Without air, it would come out looking like frozen milk rather than ice cream. The ice cream sandwich wafers are made of chocolate cake ingredients. A filling machine feeds two lines of wafers towards an injection pipe in the center. Just as two wafers come together, the machine injects 80 milliliters of vanilla ice cream in between. The pipe's head shapes the ice cream into a rectangular slab that fits perfectly between the wafers. All this happens at a rate of 140 ice cream sandwiches per minute. As the sandwiches move on to packaging, the filling is still ice cold from the freezing phase, so there's no threat of it melting. The packaging system raises each sandwich into a wrapper, then folds and tucks the ends. The next machine counts the sandwiches and inserts them in boxes. Once sealed, the boxes go directly into a storage freezer at minus 30 degrees Celsius. On another line, ice cream cone production is underway. A feeder drops pre-wrapped sugar cones into holders on a conveyor belt. They first pass under sprayers that coat the inside with a chocolatey coating which adds flavor and creates a barrier between the cone and ice cream, so the cone remains crispy until you eat it. Next, nozzles squirt in the ice cream filling, 78 milliliters per cone. One production line, two flavors. One row of cones gets vanilla ice cream, the other row, chocolate. Now for a tasty surprise in the cone's core, an injection of liquid caramel. This factory also makes ice cream cones with chocolate and strawberry sauce inside. Next, a chocolate-flavored liquid topping. Then the crunchy finishing touch, a layer of chocolatey coated puffed rice. Finally, the cones move under a lid dispenser. It applies a wax-coated paper lid to each one. A heating element instantly melts the wax, sealing the lid to the cone's paper sleeve. From here, the ice cream cones go into boxes, then straight into the freezer, ready to take a licking.